Welcome to the Norwegian Escape. This is Jason here. I'm gonna do a full tour. You're gonna love this tour. We're gonna take it deck by deck. I'm gonna start off here on deck 16. I'm gonna give you a quick preview. To the left is the pool and waves bar. Past waves bar is the second pool and the kids splash area and all the water slides. And straight ahead here is the buffet area. The buffet area goes all the way around the back of the ship. So check it out. We're going to head on back to the main pool area. Let's go ahead and take a full tour of deck 16. Right here is the main pool. Right at the center of the main pool is where you're going to listen to the DJ and the live music on either side of the pool. Take a look at this. There are hot tubs. I like these hot tubs because they're covered and you can hang out here while the sun is shining. In this area, you'll find the main pool, two hot tubs, a stage, and then right in front of the pool is Waves Bar. I like Waves Bar because it's right in front of the pool. So it's an excellent spot to grab a drink and just people watch or listen to the DJ or the live music. Now the Waves Bar is two decks. So there's a deck that goes on out to the pool and then there's another bar right above the main bar look straight ahead at the water slide if we go right past the main pool take a look at this this is the kids pool area and the kids splash zone there are many water slides here and there are many different types there is a water slide where you go on a tube there's also a water slide that's considered a slower family water slide and there's the aqua racer where the floor drops out right underneath you is what i like about the water slides is that there is a water slide for everybody. Okay, let's head on down past the water slides and take a look at the buffet. The buffet is huge, wow. It goes all the way around the back of the ship. There are plenty of drink stations. So if you want coffee or a juice, lemonade, milk in the morning, then it's easily accessible. The buffet is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And keep in mind, it is included in your cruise fare. Another thing to keep in mind is that the Escape is part of the Breakaway class. So all those ships are extremely similar. I place current sailings down below the description of the video. Take a look at those sailings when you have a chance. And think about this, when you're ready to book, give us a call is what we do is we provide you with discounted rates. It's amazing. I'm gonna put my 1-800 number there on the screen, so make sure you give us a call. Just keep in mind, these are unpublished rates, so to get the best rate guaranteed, you must give us a call. Let's head on all the way to the back of the ship. We're here on deck 17. Right to the left is the second Florida Waves Bar. Right here are the water slides. We're gonna go right down the jogging track and take a look at this. We're gonna run by the American Diner, the arcade, and head right on in to Spice H2O. Hey. While we're here at Spice H2O, let's go ahead and take a tour. Spice H2O is one of my favorite places. Pretty much every single night, there's going to be some type of dance party back here. And another thing that I like about it is that during the day, it's 18 and up. A lot of people like to come back here, relax, get a drink at the bar right here, and soak up some rays. Here at the bar, there are bar stools, tables and chairs, Plenty of places to relax and have a drink. There are also a couple of hot tubs up here. They are on either side of the stage. There's also a nice place to cool off. It's called the Grotto. A lot of people like to come in here when they're lying out in the sun to cool off. It's a really cool place to come in and hang out. As I was saying before, they have a lot of dance parties back here. The most famous dance party is the Glow Party. If you want to come to the Glow Party, and I know you do, make sure you wear a white shirt. Most people are going to be wearing one. Right down the way from Spice H2O is the video arcade. You'll need your key card to play these games. They are not included, there is gonna be an additional charge. Right down the way from Spice H2O and the arcade is the entourage. This is the teen area. American Diner is right across from the arcade. The American Diner is a favorite among cruisers. It's a classic style establishment. Is what I recommend is that you jump right on in here the first day and grab yourself a milkshake and a classic cheeseburger. Let's head up to the front of the ship up on deck 19. Check it out. There is a bar over here that not a lot of people know about. So it's really easy to get a drink. There's also a hot tub right here. Right in front of the bar in the hot tub is the Vibe Beach Club. This is an exclusive beach club. 
To be able to get into the Vibe, you have to pay an additional fee. You can either do it by day or you could do it by the entire week. Here's a recommendation. If you're interested in coming into the Vibe Beach Club, make sure you head right to guest services and get your pass. Now let's head to the back of the ship. Remember, we're not all the way in the back. Spice H2O is all the way in the back, but this is pretty much all the way toward the back of the ship. Right here is the basketball court and the ropes course. The basketball court is full court, but they also have a lot of other activities that take place here, such as dodgeball, soccer, Sometimes they'll even set up paddle tennis. The robes course is a three-story multiplex. And you'll notice just how big it is when you actually go up to the third level and look down. Because what I like are the planks and the zip lines. Right underneath the robes course over here on the other side of the basketball court is the golf court. Let's head on down to the lower decks. Behind us is the Brew House and Food Republic. Right here is La Cucina, the Poor House, and Tobacco Road. Straight ahead is 6, 7, and 8, where all three decks converge. Left is the Tapa Bar, Bayamo, and the Sugarcane Mojito Bar. And all the way here toward the back, past the shopping area, is Moderna, Churrascaria, and Cagney Steakhouse. The Prime Meridian Bar is between the two. Let's head on back to the front of the ship and take a look at Food Republic. Food Republic is one of my favorite dining venues. I really like the way it's set up. You'll enjoy the modern decor and the ocean views. Everything here is on an electric menu. So when you get to your table, you'll notice that there is an iPad. You can choose items such as pub sliders, sushi, Baja fish tacos. Everything is a la carte pricing. Right across the way from Food Republic is the District Brew House. And as the name says, it is a true brew house. It offers more than 50 different bottled beers and 24 craft beers on tap. Make sure you come on in here and enjoy the live music where the player plays everything on a piano. Moving down deck eight, we're gonna go right into La Cucina. This is the Italian restaurant. This is also considered specialty dining. So what is the difference between specialty and complimentary? Specialty, there is additional charge. What's that charge? I'll tell you what. I've placed a link down below the description of the videos, which will give you all of the specialty and complimentary dining venues and the pricing. If you would like, there is an option to be able to sit out here on the waterfront. The waterfront goes pretty much all the way around the ship. It's a perfect place to have a stroll. Sid Norman's Poor House is right across from La Cucina. Here you're going to enjoy live music throughout the entire cruise. So they're here every single night. So it's nice to pop in and enjoy some music. Right outside of Sid Norman's, also here on the waterfront, is a bar. There are plenty of bars all throughout the waterfront. Right next to the Poor House is Tobacco Road. This is one of Miami's most famous and legendary bars. Tobacco Road is a perfect, comfortable spot to come in and have a glass of whiskey or a glass of wine. Right across the way here is the Umidor Cigar Lounge, so you can also drop in here and have a smoke or a cigar. Because what I like to do is I like to come in to Tobacco Road, have a drink before I go into the Poor House and listen to some music. Let's head to the middle of the ship right here at 6, 7, and 8 and take a look at Cellar's Wine Bar. This is a Michael Mondavi family wine bar. Is What I love about this place is that you can come in, relax, have an amazing wine tasting, and it doesn't matter whether you are a beginner or a connoisseur. Right across from Cellar's Wine Bar is Pincho. This is the Tapa Bar. Here you can grab yourself a nice tasty appetizer right before dinner. Right across is the Sugarcane Mojito Bar. They will make you any kind of mojito that you want. There is a full menu. Right next to the Sugarcane Mojito Bar is Bayamo. They have the freshest ingredients and have excellent seafood selections. Folks, we're making our way to the back. So back here are all the shops and the photo gallery. Here is where you're gonna find the pictures that the photographers take of you while you're on the ship. All the way in the back here, I love this bar, is the Prime Meridian Bar. 
On either side of the Prime Meridian Bar are two specialty dining venues. Here is Moderno. This is the Churrascaria. So the waiters are going to come by and they're going to cut off pieces of meat onto your plate while you have your green light on. Across the way is Cagney's Steakhouse. This is another specialty dining venue. When you give us a call, ask us about a dining package so you can get into all these specialty dining restaurants at a low cost. Over here is Dosi Gelato. This is the bake shop. Here you can grab a delicious cupcake, a cookie, or some nice, tasty, cold gelato. Let's go down a deck to deck six. Right here is O'Sheehan's, the bar and the restaurant. In the middle here at six, seven, and eight is the casino. Skyline bar to the right here and all the way here in the back is the Manhattan Rail. So let's head on back toward the front of the ship and let's go ahead and start out at the theater. The theater here is huge. It spans two decks. Don't forget to stop by the bar and grab a drink before you sit down and watch one of the shows. You can also stop by the box office and make a reservation if you like. Right here is O'Sheehan's. This is the Irish pub is what I like about Oishihans is that it's open late. So if you get a little hungry late night, come on in and stop by and grab some chicken wings or a nice hamburger. Over here is where you'll find all the games like air hockey and bowling. You can also play some pool and shoot some darts. Right next to the pool table is one of my favorite spots, the bar. And guys, if you want to look down onto the atrium, there's also seating along here. Let's take a look at the casino. The casino sits right here at the middle of deck seven. So when you're walking down deck seven, you're going to walk right through the casino every time. There's all different kinds of card tables, slot machines, they also have tournaments. Now right here on the other side of the casino going toward the back of the ship is Skyline. This is a popular bar, especially late at night because when everyone finishes at Spice H2O, this is where they come. All the way in the back here is the Manhattan Room. The Manhattan Room is part of the complimentary dining. It's my favorite. Remember, there is the taste and the savor down on deck six. All the menus are the same, but by far, I like the atmosphere here better and I enjoy the live music. Let's head on down to deck six. Right here is the atrium and guest services. Straight ahead, six, seven, and eight. The bistro is on the left and the comedy club is on the right. All the way here in the center at the back is the mix lounge where you'll find the taste and the savor. Let's head on back to the front of the ship and take a look at the supper club. This is the dinner theater. So if you like those old 80 classic type movies and a nice musical dinner setting, come check it out. Over here are the meeting rooms and the library. So if you want to play a game of checkers or a game of chess, this is a nice room just to come in and relax. Let's take a look at the atrium. The atrium is right here in the center of the ship. It's what I like to call the heart of the ship because a lot of action and entertainment takes place right here. You can grab a drink at the Atrium Bar or you can get a coffee or a cupcake at the Atrium Cafe. You can also head on over here to guest services if you have any questions. If you have any issues with your shore excursions or your internet, you can take care of all that right here in this area. Now we're going to go right past the art collection and take a look at the French Bistro. This is Le Bistro. It is part of the specialty dining. Now here's the thing about specialty dining. A lot of times when you book a Norwegian cruise, you have a lot of promotions included. And we provide those promotions as well. So a lot of times a dining package may be included in your cruiser. Right over here across from Le Bistro is the Comedy Club. Is what's nice is that there is usually a comedy show almost every night. Across from the comedy club is Teppanyake. This is the Japanese steakhouse. This is where the Japanese chefs will cook the food right in front of you. Down here is the mix bar. The mix bar is in between two of the complimentary dining venues, the savor and the taste. So keep in mind that the menu for the savor, the taste and the Manhattan room are all the same. The only difference is the location. Let's head on up to the upper decks, up to deck 16, and take a look at the Mandara Spa. 
and the fitness center. So check it out. On your way to the spa, you're gonna go right through the fitness center and they offer everything you can think of. Free weights, machine, dumbbells. There's also yoga classes, spin classes. If you wanna do one of the yoga classes or one of the spin classes, I recommend that you come in and inquire on the first day. Walking all the way through the fitness center, you're gonna go right into the Mandarin Spa. Here in the spa, there is a barber shop and there's also a salon. So ladies, if you need to get your hair done while you're on the cruise, you're gonna go for a night out, you can come on in here to the salon and they will take care of you. All the way in the back here is the thermal suites. The thermal suites offer a philosotherapy pool, a couple of hot tubs, plenty of places to sit and relax. There are really cool views here at the front of the ship. Also over here to the left at the front, take a look at this, this assault room. This is perfect for alleviating any type of respiratory ailments. Across the way right here is a sauna. So folks, after a good night of drinking, it's a perfect place to come and hang out. Right here is a snow room. Now is what a lot of people would like to do is come in here to the steam room and then head on over to the snow room. It really gets the immune system working. Let's head on into the Haven area. The Haven area is an exclusive area for guests who are booked in Haven Suites. When you first walk into the Haven area, there's a little lounge right here and there is a bar. The Haven area also has exclusive benefits such as, for example, priority boarding, 24-hour butler service, concierge. There's also a Haven pool area. What I really like about the pool area is the solarium. So it can either be open or close. If it's a sunny day, they're gonna open it up. If it's sprinkling a little bit, they're gonna close it. So you can come in here and hang out at the pool no matter what the weather is doing. That's what I really like about it. There are a couple of hot tubs on either side of the pool and all the way in the back here is sauna. So if we go up a deck, take a look at this. There are more chairs up here. So if you wanna get away from it all and just come up here and relax, you can do that as well. And then there's also a sun deck right out here. And in the back here is another hot tub. And so just keep in mind that this area is exclusive to you if you book a Haven Suite. My favorite part about staying in the Haven is the Haven Restaurant. The Haven Restaurant offers some of the highest quality of cuisine. You can grab a filet or a baked salmon. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Remember folks, to get the best rate guaranteed, give me a call. My number is there on the screen. I hope you have a wonderful day.